in today's mod review, we're going to take a look at the Volvo NL12 for American Truck Simulator. Junior Senior. G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and today we're going to be taking a look at the Volvo NL12 for American Truck Simulator. Now we are down at the Peterbilt dealer, there we are, there's Peterbilt over there and uh, yeah this is taking up one of the slots. Straight away I've noticed one thing, it's missing the shadow texture as you can see down the bottom. Is that going to be something? You know, is this, is this a sign of things to come? Or is it just a sheer little mistake? Well, let's delve into the customized configuration and check it out. So first of all, having a look at the cabin. There's only one cabin. Looking at the chassis, you've got two. You've got a tag lift and you've got the 6x4. Not going to bother with the tag lift for this one. Just going to stick to the 6x4. And then we go to the engines. Now, there seems to be a nice little choice here to choose from. So we've got Volvo engines here, the 100A, 27 horsepower, 270 horsepower, 275, 300. Then there's the TD123, 360CV. No idea what the hell that means, but it is 356 horsepower. Then we've got 325 and 405 horsepower. So, um... All of these should be the same sound, so I don't even think I'm going to bother checking. I'm just going to leave it as is. Now off to the transmissions. We've got six speed, 16 speed, 16 speed, and 16 speed. So a nice, well, I suppose, is it nice? No, it's not really. Um, the same selection through the whole lot. See the, the ratios there is all the same there not even changing oh there we go the differential is changing okay okay all right so different differential so there's your change there 379 424 or 367 so there you go i'm just going to leave it on that 16 speed it is for me now the interior well there you go there's uh, is that a box of cigarettes i think that's a box of cigarettes either that or a very large box with a whole lot of little boxes of condoms um, I don't know what they are. To be honest, I can't see what they are. Div, div, I, I can't read it. Don't know. Uh, a machine gun. If you wish to drive down the road and shoot the shit out of people. Uh, I'm not the Taliban or I'm not a terrorist or anything like that. So I don't think I really want to have that there. But anyway, uh, we'll get to that later. Uh, let's see. For the paint jobs. Well, you get a choice of white with stripes which you can't change at all or the custom metallic you get white with stripes which you can't change at all I went through and checked all these colors before and unfortunately you can't change any of them so really um, custom color it is with white with stripes that's it and 340 on the side there Volvo power 340 did that change when we No, it doesn't change that is a bugger. It really is a bugger. Alright, let's have a look at the accessories. Are these going to be decent accessories? Well, we got a bumper change there. Um, you can still see... I don't know what that is behind there. There's a little stripe of something there. I don't know what that is, but anyway... It's stretched. It looks like it's stretched the material across. Or, oh, no, it might be those stripes there. Is that what it is? Don't know. But it looks weird. And then we go over to the grill here. There's uh, another, there's a grill there. What if, can you take that out? You can. You can completely rip that grill off. I think um, the best one there was that one. Uh, then we go over to here. The main mirrors is plastic. That's it. No metal, nothing. Uh, then there's an antenna, if you want antenna with tennis balls on the top. Or you don't. You can just take it off, whichever you want. Then we have the main mirrors. Again, they're plastic. We already had a look at those. Uh, this is a tinted window. If you want to have tinted windows in there, that is really, really weird. Does that change when we go on the inside? No, it doesn't. Okay. 
So basically, let's just select the darkest tinted windows here and see if that will... Yeah, it doesn't affect the interior, so that's that's all right. Okay, we'll hide that guy's face. Uh, then over there, that is... I don't know what the hell that is, but you can take it off. And it, Oh, surfboard. That's the surfboard. There's a surfboard on the back again. We've seen this in Euro trucks, this. And I thought I'd quickly take a look at it in American trucks to see if it was better or worse or... So far, I'm not really too impressed, but... And then there's that thing there. I don't know what that is, but anyway, you can take it on or off. Uh, over there, there's one spot for a singular Michelin man, if you want to put him on there. But no, we don't want to put him on there. Down, down there, we have got exhaust. You can put your exhaust in different spots, if you want. I'm going to chuck it there. And then we have the tires, the standard tires and standard rims in there so nothing new and exciting same again for the back standard tires and standard rims there we go well i think that pretty much does everything that i can see here for accessories um not overly too impressed really let's have a look at the inside and see what we got Alright, so uh, there's the dot there for the main mirrors. And there's a little dot, accessory dot up there, but you can't put anything on there, so that's a waste. Uh, steering wheel, you can change the steering wheel. That is by far the most ugliest steering wheel I've ever seen in my entire life. Really, it's just, it almost looks like somebody's bum. There is it been imprinted into the steering wheel. And, and that there is the... <gasps> Oh my god, I dare not say it, what that is. But anyway, it looks terrible. Um, that's a, that's a better, that's, that's looks like a, that looks like on a car. You know, the old Volvos that you see the, is it 340s, is it? No. I don't know, the old, the old boxy looking wagon, station wagon Volvos, it looks like it's out of. Um, yeah, let's just put that one on, shall we? And can you put a knob on? Yeah, you can put a knob on it. Packet of cigarettes. Oh, is that what that is? Is that cigarettes, is it? What's Dorflex? Dorflux? Dorflex. I don't know what Dorflex is, but anyway. Uh, it could be anything. Who knows? Uh, mobile phone. Let's just call them condoms. Cough syrup. It sounds like cough syrup. That's what it sounds like. Um, there, get rid of that gun. We don't want a gun in there. We're not the Taliban. Uh, then we go over here and take, you can take the CB on or off or whatever. And then there is that there. It is a, a, a dream catcher for all those dreams that you have while you're driving a truck. Dreaming of driving maybe a better truck. That's what you could be dreaming of. Notice that the bonnet is a different color as well. That's weird. Now hang on. If we go and change that to red... Aha! Look at that! It changes the colour! So, but on the outside there, the skin's on there. That is weird. That's weird. Look at that. That is so weird. Wow. Uh, there's the main mirrors again, and there is that little dot there, and that is it, I'm afraid. Um, let's... I'm just afraid. I really am afraid. Uh, let's trade this in, and that's what I'm afraid of, and let's see how long it takes to load, shall we? Uh, let's see. Is it going to take a while? It's, it's, yeah. Loading, loading. Okay. Right. The world took a little bit to load in there. That was, that was weird. I'm going to put my track IR on. There we go. And... There we go. That shadow looks weird, doesn't it? And, okay, that guy just looks strange in there. I remember this to be better in Euro Trucks. I think maybe it should have stayed in Euro Trucks. Does this truck actually... Is this truck in... 
America at all, or is it not? It's just in Europe. Oh, I just put the clutch in then, and uh, it went off. All right, let's start her up, shall we? There we go. And put the lights on. High beams. High beams work. Flashes work. And there we go. Turn off the flashes. Uh, while I'm up the back, actually, I should have checked the brake lights. Yep. And reverse. Is that in re yeah, that's in reverse. Huh. Okay. All right, wipers. Let's see. Do the wipers work? No, the wipers don't work. Horn. Oh, there we go. There's a horn. Uh, while wipers are working on the inside, that's good. Let's. Ba I'm just gonna go check to see if the. Uh Man, that is loud, isn't it? That is really loud. Wipers are still going. Stop it, wipers. Um, I am going to push the display. I don't know if I really want to or not, but... I'm going to push the display. Alright, here we go. Display. Cross your fingers. I think that... Oh, oh it crashed. Ah, oh, so don't, don't push the display there. Oh, my goodness. Shocking. That is shocking. Not often we see it crash that bad, but I tell you what, it did just then. Excuse me, just, yes, yes, thank you very much. American Truck Simulator, there we go. I can't skip that because it's, it bombs out for some reason, crashes the game sometimes. All right, let's go, yes, thank you very much, and... Yes, come on, log in. Oh, are we going to have a problem? No. Are we going to have a problem here? Uh, we are going to continue. Thank you. Uh. Right. So let's go back into the Peterbilt dealer here and visit dealer. Thank you very much. And then away we go. There's that one. Let's just do a trade-in on that now. Do a trade-in. Just take it as it is. Okay. Because I just want to get in and test the engine, really. Skip that, please. Is it locked up? Oh, there we go. Right. All right. Let's try that again. I think... Um, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to drive this, I think, and we'll see how it goes. It seems to be driving not too bad. I mean, it is loud, though. That That's the only thing. It's loud as. I like the sound effects. Six speed. I keep forgetting, I keep thinking everything's eaten fuller when I drive it. See, it seems to be driving alright, look. Love the sound effects that go with it. Banana brake. There's the banana brake. There we go. Well, that's, I mean, driving wise seems alright. I mean, I don't have an issue with it at all uh it's steering seems fine uh the you know the sounds are good and it feels like you know a truck is meant to feel not like the one we had to look at the other day that was terrible but there's just a few little problems that weren't there when it was in euro trucks so it is quite interesting Uh, 
I just missed a gear there completely. Oh, there's fifth. There's sixth. We got a seven, there's seven. And that's it, seven, seven high. All right, well, well, it's, look, <laughs> there's a few things wrong with it, but there's a few things that actually are working quite well on it. So it's entirely up to you guys if you would like to vote on the weekly drive. It doesn't bother me. If you want to see it on the weekly drive, then you vote for it. So the way we do that is if you want to vote for this on the weekly drive, then punch that like button in the ass. And that not only tells me that you like this truck and you'd like to see more of it, but it tells me a whole heap of other information as well. So, so guys, if you want to vote for it, jump in there and vote for it. Um, but overall, yeah, it's got some goods and got some bads. I'd really like to see... Maybe we can see this fixed up a little bit more with a little bit sort of, you know, <laughs> spit and polish in there. Make it look a little bit better, you know. And uh, maybe then it'll be something totally different. Who knows? But guys, that is it for me. Look, if this is the first time you've seen Junior Senior Gaming, then make sure you head on over to the Junior Senior Gaming website and check it out. There's over 1,900 videos there for you to watch. Plenty to keep you amused. Um, but that is pretty much it. Yes, uh, for some reason I lost my train of thought. But until next time, don't forget to keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down. And I'm 1010 on the side. And remember, game on.